Namibian Defense Forces and Explosive Combat Unit Police Officers teamed up with U.S. Navy EOD experts to gain a better understanding of explosives, but more importantly, to learn about the fundamentals of safely handling and disposing of ordnance. We're trying to impart uh, responsibility to, to let them have the reins because this is their country, this is their program that they need to establish. And uh, what we gave to them was our experience. They will have qualified instructors that can go around their country and give this course right now. It's not only for them, but it's for us. It's just another way we can fight the war on terror. These skills focused on assessing operational risk management, range safety procedures, UXO reconnaissance, learning about different types of firing setups, and how to calculate for blasting a UXO in place. Namibia gained their independence in 1990 that left many remnants of war in their country. UXO still endangers the local population, and this training will enable the defense forces to help them if they find any danger nearby. We manage to demine mines throughout Namibia, although they are not yet through. Explosives are still lying all around the country. We need to have experts so that we can, uh, we can rescue our own people. We can go and teach our other colleagues who didn't come to attend this course. This training will help us a lot to deal with those unexploded ordinances to save lives and properties. Now I think from this course I will be able to, to do that.